The land has been divided in three between Cao Cao, Liu Bei, and Sun Quan. These chaotic times are about to approach their final chapter. The day of a land under Cao Cao's rule is rapidly approaching. Currently, everyone is fighting for the land of Jing. Additionally, Fan Castle in Jing, which is being guarded by Cao Ren, is under attack by Guan Yu. Damn you, Guan Yu. How long will you persist in standing in Cao Cao's way? My blade shall put an end to your constant meddling. Cao Ren shall serve as the commander for this battle at Fan Castle. I can only hope that he can fulfill his duties for our lord who is far away in Shu Chang. The enemy commander is Guan Yu. He is likely to try and use the rain in his attack against us. Focus on holding your position and striking only when the time is right. I am aware of the relationship between you and Guan Yu. I trust that you will be capable of stopping Guan Yu when the opportunity presents itself. Must hold out until the reinforcements get here. Enemy spotted upstream by the river. The river? Could they be planning a water attack? Damn it! I can't hold up! I challenge you! Live up to my father. Just a <laughs> The water attack has failed, has it? Do you think you can stop me? We mustn't let them steal all of the glory. Their strategy has failed. All units counterattack! Oh, is this the end? Just another hit! <laughs> From over. Hold your positions! Here I am, everyone. Shu Huang has arrived. Be gone. Crush them beneath us. Good luck if you think you can break through our defenses. Be gone.
impressive. You do not require strategy. Did you think you could overcome this base? Should have brought your allies with Now, all units move to counterattack. I am impressed. Damn. It's over already. Just another kick. Damn. It's over already. Just another kick. Be gone! Be gone! You thought you could just get away with that? Defend yourself, or suffer death by my blade. Shahodun. We've known each other for some time now. You may have won my lord's favor, but that won't stop me from killing you. You've been a thorn in Wei's side for too long! Guan Yu! 
I see. In that case, it's about time that I put an end to you. Shabatu, you've taken your last breath. Let this be our final battle, Shabatu. Here's the enemy lines are crumbling. We must not let up on the attack. Drive back the enemy forces. I will forever fight for my brother's ambition. <laughs> Your skills are impressive. Though I have failed as a warrior, this is a glorious end. Farewell, and thank you. We defeated Guan Yu. I had no particular grudge against him, but it is the duty of a warrior to defeat his opponent, no matter how great a hero he may be. I owe it to all of you that I was able to answer the call at that instant. With this, we have managed to remove yet another obstacle in our Lord's path. I shall continue to serve loyally and fulfill my duties until an end is brought to this chaos. A new but this bodyguard is It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos. 
brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Shahudun, a mighty warrior and nephew of Cao Cao's father. Despite his bad temper, he was a man of integrity. He was known for his incredible martial arts skills and his abilities as a great tactician. Shahudun came to serve Cao Cao when he was raising troops for the campaign against Dong Zhuo. Proving his abilities during the battle, he quickly became an important figure in Cao Cao's forces and was well known throughout the land. In the year 200 AD, Cao Cao captured Guan Yu at Shu. Cao Cao treated him especially well in an attempt to persuade Guan Yu to join his forces. However, Guan Yu's loyalty to Liu Bei was so great that he left Cao Cao. Cao Cao proclaimed that Guan Yu was one of the land's greatest warriors. However, Xiao Dun disagreed and considered Guan Yu a threat to his lord's power. Because of this, Xiao Dun would always consider Guan Yu as his ultimate enemy. In the year 209 AD, Guan Yu led an attack against Cao Ren at Fan Castle in northern Jing. It was Xiao Dun who responded to Cao Ren's request for assistance in order for a chance to fulfill his dream of fighting against Guan Yu. Although the chaos continues to run rampant throughout the Three Kingdoms, Xiao Dun is finished fighting. Having fulfilled his goal of defeating Guan Yu, his own personal chaos has come to an end. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Guan Yu, you were very strong, yes, a worthy foe. <laughs> if it were not for you, Wei would have settled this land long ago. Cao Cao, my own personal chaos is over. <laughs> 